Hello my beautiful bitters, welcome to my channel and today I have my update for my project polish for you guys. Number one is Julep and Johnny, which is this black and I never used it once this last month. I was really focusing on some other polishes so this one kind of got thrown on the wayside, throw to the wayside so no progress there. Next one is Julep and Eunice is right here and I do have a little bit of progress underneath that line but if I draw another line it will just be one big giant line so we'll wait till next month to draw a line we have julep and Hallie this one I'm not sure if I made progress or that's last month's mark but that's where I'm at <laughs> I can't remember it's I try to use so many polishes that I, I just can't keep up much anymore. Julep and Tara, which is this one, and this one has officially been used up for the most part. I did do a Franken polish using this, and then whatever was left, I, I used up. So Julep and Mila, and Mila, I've made nice progress. Um, huh, I drew the line before it must have fully settled because I'm actually above that line. So, as you can see, <laughs> I prematurely drew that line. I thought everything had been settled, but obviously it wasn't settled at the time. So, but I have progress in that. It, nice, big progress on that. So, very happy about that. Then we have Vinique in Retail Therapy. It, there's a line underneath that silver line. I don't know if you can see that. That's where I'm at in this polish. Next is Vinique in Ribbons and Bows. So there's my new line for Vinique in Ribbons and Bows. So make your progress on it. Then we have Vinique in Vinique Uncovered. And this one I do have a line. So I just have a lot. To, I'm, I'm at halfway through the bottle. And this is silver and gold and I want to say like a charcoal silver glitter. Very chunky glitter. Okay. Julep and Brandis. And I made progress in this one as well. That's where I'm at. Next one is Julep and Carol. And Carol was the one that I had poured most of this in before I used it all up. So I have used it on my toes since putting this in the project. And then when I used it on my toes, I poured a little bit more of this glitter in and then finished it off. So this is back to being full even though I used it. But it's really pretty on my toes, by the way. I like it. Julep and Mia. That's where I'm at in this polish. So looks like quite a bit was used. And then Sally Hansen in Gilt. I do have this on my nails right now. So that's how much progress I made. I have two coats on my nails at the moment. So this one was an easy like remove the nail polish off my nails because it was chipping. And I needed something quick. I'd throw one coat on my nails because this one was a super fast dry. And I would just go about my day with that because if it chips it's not that noticeable right now I threw a second coat on just to give a little more color to my nails but this one's a great one and done and leave so that is everything for my color nail polishes I have one fully finished and then um, let's go on to my extras so I hope have OPI in matte and I didn't use this one this month at all Sally Hansen peel off base coat. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to get down to draw another line. So that's where I'm at in this base coat or this peel off base. Ciate top coat. Oh, I forgot that one. That one's in the bedroom. I'm still working on that. Um, Deco Miami oil. That's where I'm at in this. So still just plug it away with that. And then I have a latex, and where am I at with this? Okay, so that bottom line is where I'm at. It's a little bit of progress in this. It's just steady going. 
Then I have Julep Quick Dry. I don't know. I don't think I used it enough to draw a new line. So that's where I'm at with that. Zoya Naked Manicure Set. Now, this one has officially been used up. And then I have this, which just has a little bit, but I really do love these, this product. It's really great. I love the serum. My hands, when I got really sick and was washing my hands like 50 times a day, my hands got so dry, but this stuff saved it. So I have maybe a week's worth left of this and then it's done so I'm just gonna consider both of those as being done and then I have a nail detox and I actually don't think I used it once this whole month so bad on me julep treat base and it is full but for a reason so I used it up to the very bottom and it was starting to get really stringy so when I get to that point where it gets really stringy then I like to add another uh, polish to it. So I have this L'Oreal nail polish in, it's just this one stop base. So I poured it into here and then shook it up. So it's not as runny as what this one is. As you can see, it, it moves a lot slower because I added it to whatever was left here. And then I was just using it up and then refilling, using it up, refilling that kind of thing. So even though this is done, I'm still using this because I like the brush better than this. So I'm adding this L'Oreal. We'll just go by, you know, when I fill, you know, I'll just keep refilling this until I use up all of this. So what I'm going to do. So now I have some, uh, I want to say one, two... So I have two more polishes I would like to add into the collection. So I have this Rainbow Honey in Baked Raspberry Glaze. But this one is also a Franken polish because I added a nude polish to it. It was a very thin nude. So I added, so it, it's changed. So I want to use up this. It's really thick and doesn't want to dry. So I would like to get as much use out of it as possible until I can no longer use it. But it's completely full. Um, it wasn't until I added stuff to it. And then this last one, I want to do a sugar pill in Divinity. And basically it's this gold glitter with holographic micro shimmers in through it. It's really pretty. I have several polishes that are just like this. So I would like to just get this one used up first and then go from there. But I don't know if you can see that line. That's where I'm starting in the sugar pill one. I really love that polish. So that is everything with my new products being rolled in, products being rolled out. <laughs> and yeah, we're just going to keep using until I can no longer use them. My goal is for... April is to work on Mila. I would like to get like this much used up again by next month. So that way it takes me two months to get it used up. Maybe if I put my head down and just wear this over and over and over and over and over and over again, I could probably get it done. Um, but yeah, I would like to focus on that. I'd also like to focus on this green shade as well because I made so much progress last month that I just would like to just continue using this and continue using Brandis because I'm you know these are the ones that I feel I can get the most use out of oh and then maybe the Sally Hansen one I think this will be an easy one because this is one that if I need something quick, I use that one. So those are the four polishes that I really would like to focus on for April. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.